Hey you guys. Hey my chalk monsters. What is up? Welcome to the boutique. We are in the boutique tonight in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me just um, turn my music down just a little bit because I was rocking on out as I was getting set up and ready to chalk and chat with you guys tonight. So what's going on? Tell me what is going on in the boutique. Um, let me see, I'm gonna see if I can pull up comments on this phone without turning the music off. I'm afraid it's gonna play through. No? Yes, it does, okay. So that won't work. So let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can look at my other phone because I don't want to miss comments from you guys. Okay, so um, this one's about to die. Let me plug it in super quick. I don't know why this charger isn't working. Maybe if I plug it into my computer. Let's see if that I definitely, I definitely don't want to miss, okay, why is this not plugging in? Let me try this side. Okay. All right, so plugged it in. Are we charging? Are we charging? I don't think we're charging. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. Darn it, darn it. Okay, hold on. I can't see if you guys are commenting yet. Let me plug this in over here and see if this outlet over here works. Maybe it's my extension cord because my light's on, so that's what's weird. Um, I know the cord is working for my light. Hold on. I have another outlet over here. Hold on, let me see. I think my cord's bad. All right, I may just have to turn our music off until I can, um, let me do that, and so I can see comments until I can, until my phone charges up again. Okay. Not ideal, but that's what we'll do. We just won't have music for a little bit. It's okay. I would rather see you guys and what you're saying and um, talk and chat with you, okay? So let's do that. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the boutique. Welcome back. Oh, good. My phone's charging. Okay. So as soon as it comes back on again, I'll put the music back on and I can see comments. Awesome. So, what is going on, you guys? Tuesday, is it Tuesday or is it Wednesday? I'm thinking it's Wednesday. Yes, it's hump day. We're almost there. Halfway through the week. Two more days and we have made it to the weekend. My name is Kathy and I am a mentor with Chalk Couture. And my sweet mama and I run the Chalk Monster Boutique. She does a lot of the behind the scenes work and you get me in front of the camera because Sweet Mama DG does not know how to do lives or social media or um, a lot of things. But that's another story for another day, right? You guys have heard me talk about Sweet Mama DG. All right. So like I said, I'm a mentor at Chalk Couture. What is Chalk Couture? It is a high-end DIY home decor. We make the most amazing, let me show you one. Silk screen transfers. We make the most amazing paste, the most amazing tools. It's my big handle squeegee, right? And the most amazing surfaces. And you can see behind me, let me angle the camera down. I've got a bunch of them right there behind me. Beautiful, right? Made all those with Chocotour products. All right, so tonight 
we have got several we have got several projects to make so we should get started right as you guys are coming in say hello let me know you're here um, giving away some prizes tonight so our first prize is going to be a $5 gift card Target uh, Starbucks wherever you want it from you let me know okay all you have to do is share this video right when you share um, type in your name type in shared and tell me how many entries you get you get one entry if you share it to your page one entry to, if you share it to your group um, sorry one entry for your page one entry for your story and two entries if you share it to a group okay so share it away and then tell me how many entries you get when we get to 20 entries I'm giving away $5 gift card you guys you could easily get 10 entries to share to five groups it's really simple okay so our first project tonight um, we made this one last night, right, with our Home of the Brave transfer. Isn't that beautiful? So you can, um, if you want to see how I did this, you can go to my YouTube channel, Chalk Monster Boutique, okay? I have, um, oh my gosh, hundreds of videos, how-to videos on my YouTube channel. I would love it if you guys would go there and subscribe. So Chalk Monster Boutique, this is on last night's video. It's also on this page right here, okay, Home of the Brave. So we did this one last night. We're going to make tonight um, some patriotic decor to go with it. So we're going to paint this board red, okay, and then we will we'll chalk it white with those dots. And then we're going to paint this one blue and and put the um, do the woven plaid on it. Um, probably with red, I'm thinking, or we could do white. I haven't decided. You guys can help me decide. Let me know what you think, okay? And then we're going to make another one of our bottle openers for our college grads. And we're going to finish up some of our porch sign leaves for our friends in Canada. We're going to chalk these up. Aren't these adorable? Yeah. We're going to chalk these up with um, some cute mini buffalo plaid in black for our friends in Canada. I don't know why I say it that way. It, um, but it makes me smile when I say Canada that way. All right, so let me uh, see if I can see comments now on this phone and then um, we will turn, I'll turn the music back on. as I pull up this video and then we will get started. Who is in the boutique tonight? Say hello. Let me know you're here. Tell me what's going on. Okay, let's get our music back going. Want to? I think we should. That should do it. All right, let's go to project view. There we go. Let's go to project view so we can see. Oh, my phone died again. I'll give it a second. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so first we're going to paint. I'm going to paint. Um, Let's do this one red, okay? And um, if you guys are commenting, I will check the comments in just a second. It's on my phone over here that's charging. Let me check this out. Okay, so this is just a primed pine board, okay? That I got at my local hardware store primed pine and I'm just using some plain uh, plain old it's called true red acrylic paint okay it doesn't really matter I think I, I will probably end up painting both sides so 
So it doesn't really matter what side I use, right? Okay. So I'm just painting this first with plain acrylic paint uh, to, for it to be my background, because remember I want this one red. Now I did paint this one white, even though it's primed. It looks like it's painted white. It's a, it's a, it was a primer that was on it, which is great that the pine comes primed, but it wasn't as pretty as I would like it to be. So I did paint it white first. The nice thing about this is the paint dries really quickly. So um, we'll let these dry, we'll paint these two and then we'll let them dry while we do our bottle opener and chalk our leaves. And then these will be dry. That's why we're doing a couple projects tonight because these need time to dry before, um, if we stick our transfer down on them when they're wet, you can imagine that that's not a good thing, right? Hopefully, these only need one coat. Painting these on the sides here. And then I will set them to the side to dry. What's everyone doing on their Wednesday night? Everyone have a good hump day. Should have put my gloves on. I always say that after I start painting. Right? But I have paper towels right here. So, new problem. I need to remove that one right there. Wipe this up. Okay, and I'm going to check for comments to see if we have any friends in the house. I'm hoping we do. New friends, old friends, whatever. All right, my charger is clearly bad, so let's, let's do this instead. We'll just have to turn our music off, but that's okay. Hey Shannon, what's going on my friend? How are you? All right, so we did our red board. Let's do, let's do the blue one now. I'm surprised we don't have Nikki or Bridget in the house. Maybe they will join soon. Shannon, how was your hump day? What'd you, oh, I saw you post it on Facebook. Um, you were looking for what, bias tape and something else. So I am dying to know, what were you making? Shannon says, going okay, miss watching you. Oh, I miss having you here too. I'm glad you're here tonight. You have been a busy girl, that's for sure. So I understand why you haven't, um, why you haven't been able to watch. You guys are back, right? Back from up north. I know your trip was hard, but um, how was the travel portion? Was it scary? Did you feel comfortable flying? Good, ran errands, Kona brand fabric for a quilt. Oh, I didn't know you quilted. That's pretty cool. 
I would love to be able to do that. Maybe when I retire. I do not would love to do it. I don't have the time or the patience to do it right now. What kind of quilts are you making? Is it for a special occasion or does it have a theme? All right, Shannon says yes. I know there's kind of a delay and I keep asking you all kinds of questions, Shannon, and it's easier for me to ask questions than for you to reply because you have to type and I just have to talk, right? Yeah, so how was the, how was the travel portion of your trip? Was it okay? I have not traveled in so long. I can't believe it. I haven't. I haven't been on a business trip in over a year, which is so crazy for me. I mean, when we were living in Shanghai just two years ago, I traveled like you wouldn't believe. I was in Hong Kong once a month. I was in Tokyo every quarter. And now I don't go, now I'm not going anywhere. Even before we moved to Shanghai, I was in, um, I mean, I traveled to Asia like once a quarter. It's crazy. And now not at all. Shannon says travel was fine. Masks on the plane. Not worried about airport and plane, not packed with passengers. Patriotic 4th of July. Awesome. Hello, Miss Bridget. How are you, my friend? I was wondering where you were. I was missing you, Bridget. What's going on? All right. Let's move. I gotta find a better place for that one. How's your hump day going, Miss Bridget? Bridget, we're playing our share game tonight. 20 shares for a gift card. All right, Bridget sprinkled. She gets four entries. Let's do it. Let me move this one over here. Okay. All right, Bridget, I'm gonna write your name down. You're doing well? Awesome, I'm glad to hear that. You know, Bridget, I worry about you if you don't show up and join my live. Because I don't, that's unusual, right? And so I need to know where you are. So I'm glad you joined tonight. Otherwise, I was going to have to message you and find out where you were. All right, Bridget, I got four entries for you right here for sprinkling. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Okay, so we did our two boards. Now... We're still letting those dry. I think they're gonna be good with one coat, so that's good. So let's do, while those are drying, let's do our, um, you guys, I'm still working on these things. Can you believe it? I think I'm close to being done now, I think. I don't know, I thought I was, and there's a lot of boards in my closet. <laughs> so I need to look and see. Um, Bridget, you're home. Okay, good. Hello, Debbie Austin. Debbie, um, sprinkled in your homepage and five groups. Oh my Lord, Debbie Austin. Five groups. Okay, so that's 10 entries plus you said, um, in your homepage. Okay, so that gives you, let's see, five groups gives you 10 entries plus one for your page. So that's 11. Debbie Austin. So let me write all these down so you can get entered. So if you've got 11 and Bridget's got four, that's 15. We only need five more sprinkles or entries to give away a gift card. How exciting. I would love to give one away. Okay, one, two, three, four for Debbie. Five. Six, seven, 
gate. Nine. Ten. And that makes it eleven. All right. Five more entries, you guys, and I will give away a gift card. $5 gift card online, retailer or restaurant of your choice. You can choose, okay? Just got to be online so I can buy it and send it to you. All right, all you got to do is to enter is um, share this video, and then um, you get one entry for your page or for your story. You get two entries if you share to a group. So share away and let me know how many entries you get. We just need five more entries and um, I'll give away a gift card. Whoop, whoop. All right, so I'm gonna wax this little guy first, okay? Um, and this is gonna be a bottle opener and I will end up, let's see, let's go ahead and take this off now. And I will also take these off. Um, because it's going to hang on the wall, like um, like this way, right? I'm trying to figure out which camera to show you. It'll hang this way. I don't want it to hang this way, so I'll just take that cord off. And of course, reuse it for something else. Okay, so to, I'm gonna wax this board first, then I'm gonna tell you why. I use Minwax Finishing Paste in Natural. You can get this at any home improvement store. And I'm waxing it because this is a non chocotor and a non it's oh sorry it's a very porous surface. Okay, which means it will soak up the chalk paste big time. And it will um it could tear up my transfers because it's it's wood and it's got some splinters in it and that kind of stuff. So it's just this is like I say it's like putting conditioner on your hair, right? It's um it just kind of preps the board and makes it much smoother for the chalk paste to um, adhere to. Okay makes everything easier and if you make a mistake having paste on it will um, it'll help you get that or having having yeah having the um, wax on it will help you get the paste off easier okay if you make a mistake hello Ms. Nikki how are you my friend I was wondering where you were I'm so glad you're here I was just telling Bridget that um, she was not on and I was worried. I was going to have to like message her to find out if she was okay. You guys are my regulars and if you're not here, I worry about you. Kind of like your mom, right? <laughs> kind of like it. Okay, this, and you guys, these are not, I need to put some, I need to get my Clorox wipes out and reactivate these. That's what you do when they, they start losing their stickiness. Um, Clorox wipes will help reactivate the adhesive. Because you can, these are silk screen transfers, okay? So they're not cut out all the way. They're silk screen in there. And you can reuse these 10 to 15 times. But when they start to lose their stickiness, then you just um, wipe, take a Clorox wipe, hey girl, and wipe them on the back. And that will help reactivate the stickiness, okay? I just got home from church. Oh, nice. That's a nice way to spend your Wednesday night. Very good. Very good. Okay, so this, um, this one is for my son's friend, Ryan Hokegill. And Ryan graduated from Olympia High School this, this year, this spring. 
and Ryan is going to the University of Florida. So we are doing gator colors in orange and blue. I don't particularly care for the gators. If you know me and you have seen me before, you know I am a huge, huge Alabama fan. Do we have any Alabama fans out there? I know Nikki's a Georgia fan. Debbie, do you like college football? Um, we already know Bridget is not a huge fan of college football, which is okay. Totally understand that. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge Gator fan at all. But I'm making this because um, Ryan's a good kid. And he's going to the University of Florida. Do we have any Gator fans out there? Debbie, who do you cheer for? Okay, so I put my paste down. You guys saw that with my stir stick. Now I'm just, there we go. Um, so I, the, so I, I smoothed it over with my squeegee, covered up the silk screen, right? And then squeegeed off all the color. And then stuck it stick in that um, transfer there so I can um, where's my towel I'm gonna stick this back on here for now so I can wash that and use it over and over 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 and over and over again okay so then I squeegeed off all the color and Stuck it back down. Okay, so I squeegeed off all the color, pulled it off, and um, now I've got this one ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna use. Hmm, it smelled funny. Um, we're gonna use orange peel for this one. So let me get out. My squeegee and my stir stick, and I'm gonna give it a good, good old stir. Orange peel, orange and blue, gator colors, right? Debbie says, I'm not into college sports, but when my girls were in college many years ago, it was the Maryland Terrapins. Okay, I can get behind that. Some Maryland Terrapins. Did I say that right, Debbie? Maryland Terrapins. I can't say that. You know what? My son may have gone to a Maryland game. My older son, Carter, played, he just graduated. He played football at Bishop Moore. And um, in high school, right? And um, they went to, they played, the, um, Bishop Moore's a Catholic school, and so they played this rival school in Maryland um, called Archbishop Spalding, and they actually went to Maryland for the game. We got our butts kicked. It was not, not fun. However, I think when they were up there, they went to, in Baltimore, I think they went to a Maryland Terrapins football game, if I'm not mistaken. Debbie says, yes, that's it. The Terps. <laughs> Nikki knows them. All right. I did not know that they were called the Terps. See, you guys have taught me something new today. How about that? I'm teaching you how to chalk, and you're, you're teaching me about college football, which I am not an expert um, in college football by any means. However, I do think I know more about college football than most females do, if I do say so myself. And it may not be a fair comment, but I think it might be true. 
But you ladies are proving me wrong with your Terrapins info. Nikki says I love college football. Oh, me too, girl. Me too. I am. I just know that it's going to be canceled this fall. And uh, my entire family and I are going to be so sad. Debbie says I cheer more for the Navy now since we live in Annapolis. Okay, well, that makes sense. I could get behind that too. That makes total sense. Okay, so this is how this will work. It is now a University of Florida bottle opener. See this? All right, so there are screws. I have it upside down. You guys have seen this before. I have screws. They screw in right here um, up against the wall, right, and into the wall. So there we go. I'm going to spray it with an acrylic sealer, and that will make it permanent and keep it from, like, washing and chipping off, okay? That's the last step there. I gotta look at my um, graduation gift list. I've got to be finished with these soon. Please, dear God, like there has got to be an end. And then I gotta deliver them all because all the parties were canceled, right? There's no graduation parties to take all these gifts. So we were supposed to have, a, uh, our friends were having a big graduation party this Saturday night. And um, it was for three of my son's friends two of them have tested positive for the virus. I don't know about the third one yet, so they've canceled the party, obviously. Yep, not, not good, not good. Nikki says, I sure hope they don't cancel football. I know, me too. Oh, Debbie Austin. So um, I think Nikki and I checked out your, um, your uh, Tumblr page today and I posted the link I know so sad Nikki me too I posted the link Debbie um, on my page in last night's um, last night's live so take a look at it and make sure make sure I got the right one I think I did Make sure I got the right page. All right, I'm talking and chatting and I'm not paying attention. I need this transfer for these leaves. And then our boards, our blue and red boards should be dry enough. Shannon, do you watch college football? Do you have a favorite team? Debbie says, yes, I saw it. Thank you so much. Okay, good. I want, they look really cool. You guys, Debbie Austin here. In the comments, you can see she's commenting. She has a Tumblr business where she um, decorates tumblers. And if you go to last night's live, you can find I found the link to her business page and I posted it. So you guys should go check it out. It's awesome. They have some. She has some really cute stuff. I gotta check it out, Debbie, and um, place an order with you. They look really cute. Yes, that's the right one. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so these are our red cutout leaves, right? Okay, so I am chalking them. I'm using our mini buffalo plaid transfer. And I'm going to chalk them up black. This would be perfect for... Shannon, FSU, there you go. My son has three friends going to FSU in the fall. Zach and uh, Nolan and Cole. I made their, their bottle opener boards first. So they were done a while ago. I made theirs first because I thought we were having this big graduation party on Saturday night. And now we're not. That's okay. I don't mind being home. Um, like quarantining, which is kind of what we're doing since my friends got sick. We're like, I, I moved a bunch of, I was supposed to get my hair done tonight. I moved that out to next week. Um, I was supposed to do a chalk workshop tomorrow night for my mom's a preschoolers group. But since my son was exposed to these, my son's fine. He has zero symptoms. But since he was exposed to these kids that have now tested positive, we decided that we should um, 
quarantine ourselves for two weeks from when he was exposed, so which is next week. So, yeah, so I rescheduled everything um, until and, until um, early next week. Just to be, it'll be two weeks on. Um, it'll be fourteen days on Monday. So I rescheduled everything um, until Tuesday. So yeah, I feel bad for my mom's a preschoolers group that um, I, it was a group. It was like a group of twelve tomorrow night. We were gonna get together and chalk, and um, I feel really bad that I had to do that, especially on short notice. But given the situation, I thought it was best. Especially because they have, um, their moms are preschoolers, so they have little kids and families, and I just didn't feel right about it. So anyway, that means I'll be chalking with you guys right here tomorrow night instead of with my moms of preschoolers. I offered to do it virtually for them, um, but I think the hostess, she's such a sweetheart, her name's Amy, I think she didn't want to because she wasn't sure like how to set up, and because I was just going to deliver all their projects to her house, and um, then I would get on camera and teach them how to do it, but I think she was nervous about like setting up and cleaning up and all that kind of stuff. So. Just totally fine, totally get it. So they prefer to reschedule. Oh my gosh, you guys. Is this not adorable? That little leaf. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. It is so cute. It like screams. I don't I'm not Canadian. I don't know if we have any Canadians watching. Um, I know I have a lot of Canadians who like my page. I feel like that screams Canada. But if you're if you are Canadian and you're watching, can you let me know if that's true? Does it scream Canada to you, or is it am I just being like a stupid American, and I don't know any better? What do you guys think? Do you think it looks like Canada, even if you're not from Canada? Nikki. Bridget, Debbie, Shannon, tell me what you think. Does it look like Canada? Yeah. So we've got this leaf and one more to do. I've got three more over there in gold that we need to do, but um, I want to do those using bark colored paste and the same transfer and I don't want to have to go wash this and leave you guys just like sitting here while I go wash this transfer so we'll do that we'll do that tomorrow night so what do you guys think does two questions do these leaves look like Canada to you for that's question number one question number two for you guys do you think I made Funny. My watch is telling me to stand. I've been standing the whole time because um, my I, my island is like kitchen counter height, right? So I've been standing the whole time talking with you. Looks like it to me, Debbie says. All right. Well, I think, Debbie, I don't know if you're closer to Canada, like geographically, or if um, Bridget is. I'm not sure who's further north. You or Bridget, because Bridget's in Wyoming. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take your word for it since you're closer to Canada than I am. Bridget says okay, and then she says yes. So Bridget thinks so too. Okay, cool. So that's my first question. Second question for you guys is do you think oh my gosh, I love it. So cute. I'm gonna mess him up if I keep touching him. I'm gonna put him over there, and we have one more to do. Now I'll ask you my second question. Debbie says I like the black. Not sure bark and red will look great. Oh no no, it's not gonna be bark and red. Debbie, I agree. I don't think the bark and red will look great either. It's um, it's gonna go on these. So it's gonna go like on this gold. 
it's supposed to be like fall, right? Like golden, golden brown. So we'll do those tomorrow night. Um, Debbie says, I am in the middle of Canada and Florida. Oh. Bridget says she, so you're, you're not as far north as I was thinking, Debbie, if you're in the middle. And Bridget says I have family in Canada. Okay, well, Bridget, that, I think that makes you the expert then. We'll go with that. You win, Bridget. You win the Canada contest. How about that? Okay. Run it out of space, you guys. I'm trying not to get black paste on my brave sign over here. Okay, my second question. Oh, thank you, Debbie. She says, that would look beautiful. I hope so. I'm just copying the picture that I have. So I hope it looks good. It looks good in the picture. All right, my second question for you guys is, do you think I did the right thing? Do you think I made the right decision about canceling I'm not that worried about my hair appointment. That's no big deal. I'll just, they don't care. I'll go do it next week. Um, but do you think I made the right decision about canceling my chalk workshop tomorrow night? Because I was worried about the virus and my son being exposed. He has zero symptoms, but um, since he was around some friends that tested positive, I just, I just wanted to be safe especially since these women have, have little children. Um, Bridget says, it is your thing. It will be okay. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Bridget. It is my thing. All right, Shannon thinks I did the right thing. I think so, too. I hope they understand. Although I don't know how many of them know why. We just put out an announcement like due to unforeseen cir circumstances. Um, but I would, th I, I was actually kind of surprised, you know, cause we've got an increase in cases um, here in Florida. And did I, did I, I think I heard today, Shannon, since you're here in Florida, maybe you can tell me if I heard right. Um, I think I heard that New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut have put, not a travel ban, but like if you go to, um, if you travel to Florida, or if you're traveling from Florida, coming into those three states, like you have to quarantine. They're asking you to quarantine when you come back. Is that right? Did I hear that today? You can have it and be asymptomatic from Anderson. I know, I know. That's why I um, I feel like um, we should all quarantine and self-isolate. Like I said, uh, 14, 14 days since he was exposed. So that's what we're doing, just in case. Okay, this is our last leaf. Aren't these cute? What do you guys think? They just, they scream like Scotland and Canada to me. I don't know why. I think they're adorable. Do you guys love them? How about some hearts? How about some thumbs up? All that good stuff. Okay, let's finish. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint this edge. And then I might paint the back of this. I probably will, but not tonight because well, I'll do it after we're done. Because um, if I paint the back, then I can't lay it down and chalk on it. Right? So we'll do that later. Okay. There we go. Shannon, oh, Debbie says, oh, wait, I missed a comment. Okay, 
Shannon says, yes, they're asking Tyler to self-quarantine. That's what I thought. Debbie says, yes, you'll be quarantined if you go there. They are strict on that, too. $1,000 fine. Wow. That is strict, Debbie. That's crazy town. Crazy town. All right, if we have any new watchers jumping on, we're still giving away a $5 gift card tonight. All you got to do is share this video. Um, when we get to 20 entries, 20 entries, and I will give a $5 gift card away. And we're at 15, so we're almost there. So close. All right, you guys, should I do the polka dots on this? Should I do them in this Liberty? Yep. Should I do the polka dots in Liberty or should I do them in white? You guys tell me what you think. Liberty or white? To go with our home of the brave sign. And you guys, I was thinking about putting together a bundle for this, for this little set too. A little chat bundle, in case you guys want to make it at home. All right, I'm going to give it just a second, see if the comments come through. Should I do them in white? White or Liberty? What do you guys think? Debbie says white. All right, let's go with white. Bridget says white. All right, sounds like we've got, I haven't heard from Shannon or Nikki. Hopefully you guys think white. I keep meaning to bring a trash bag up here. I don't have, how do you have a craft room without trash, right? Nikki, I haven't looked. Have you gotten your, um, you probably haven't gotten your welcome transfers yet, right? They just shipped yesterday, maybe? All right, Nikki says white. Very good. All right, you guys. Here is some spongy paste, okay? It should not look like this. I just opened this one. If your paste looks like this, and you got it from me, just message me and I will exchange it out for you. If you didn't get it from me, contact either Chocotour or your designer and they will take care of it for you. Shannon says white. All right, it's unanimous. But it should not look like this. Okay, although adding water to it, you know what? It's actually looking much better now that I added distilled water to it and I'm stirring it. I don't sound as loud. It's my reminder. Like You need to get ready for bed. I will. We're almost finished. Okay, so everyone said white. So there we go. Shannon says I had paste that looked like that. Mine didn't come from you. Well, it's because it didn't come from me, Shannon, because you're on my team, and so you ordered it directly, which is awesome. But here's what you do, Shannon. Nikki just did this the other day. You go into your back office, and your designer, um, yeah, if, if that doesn't work, Shannon, go into your back office on the website where you place all the orders and under resources there's a document called fix it fast and um, there's a form in there Nikki just did this the other day and she said it was really easy you fill out the form and um, I think you attach a photo and then they want the number like there's a number on the bottom label and um, you don't even have to send it back and Chocotour will send you a new one for all, any any pace that's like that. 
okay? I forgot to tell you guys, so I like to write on the back of my transfer the name of it. This is a brand new one, I haven't used it yet. Um, I like to write on the back of it the name so that I know when I put it back down the backer sheet, um, what is, um, where is I'm going to stuck the sticker to that. I thought, you know what? Let me do that. Am I going crazy? Can I hide on this? Okay, I can now. There we go. Okay. Not helpful. Not what I wanted to do. I stuck that sticker on my... All right, I do think I'm going to wax this. Um, because I just think it will work better if I do. There's not much on here, let me get some more out. I think it will just lay better. It'll work better if I wax it first. Yeah, so Shannon Nikki did just did it the other day, and um, she said it was super easy. So yeah, if you're not happy with your paste, um, Chalk Tour will replace it for free. No questions asked, which is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna leave this out because I'm going to wax the blue one too. Just stick that up there. Wax. There we go. Okay. So where did my? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna put the dots. Put it right here. All right. So what I'm gonna do because it's not gonna cover it completely. I'm going to put it on the edge and then I'll do it. Move it over and do it again. Right to get this edge. Just trying to get it straight, even though it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Nikki says it was. I had to have my order number. Got it. Yep, they usually ask for that too. Nikki, I don't know if you, you may not have gotten the um, squeegees that I sent yet. Nice. Paste all of them. It's a good thing this stuff comes off, right? Um, when you get them, Nikki, you know, I remember I told you that they're, um, that I've used them before, but you can just keep them for your workshop. You don't need to send them back to me. Um, but you, you'll you see that there's um, like paste in the, so like in the little crevices like this. So if that bothers you, it won't hurt your, it won't hurt, any, hurt anything you're doing. But if it bothers you and you want them to be super clean, you can run them through the dishwasher. Yeah, so tip for you guys, if you're ever, if you're trying to get your squeegees super clean, which I don't, I don't really care if mine are because it, it doesn't affect my projects. But if it bothers you, just run them through the dishwasher. Maybe top rack just in case so they don't melt. But if it doesn't, doesn't bother you, then it won't hurt anything. Okay. Just covering up all of. Hey, sweetheart, you want to come say hello? I guess that's a no. I can't ever convince them chalk with me or even say hello someday right Nikki do your kids chalk with you Shannon your son does right he's tried it before Andrew right I think Andrew chalks with you Andrew's gonna help you set up your lives right
Um, Shannon, also, Nikki, I think Nikki was just watching this one. If you need help setting up, like how to figure out how to go live or, um, or set up your business page, I can't remember if you have your set up yet or not. I think you do. Any of that. Um, there's some really great training in Sarah Page Gruber's um, page, her team page. I can tag you in it if you want the information. Anything you ever need to know about Chalk or Chalk Couture or running your business is in Sarah's page, I swear. Yes, be your IT guy. That's awesome. Nikki said, or Shannon says he tried it. Yep. I remember. Nikki says Courtney is going to do a board this weekend. Oh, awesome. Getting the whole family into it, right? All right, did my camera freeze up here? Hold on, I think it may be because, yeah. Let me just unfreeze it. There we go. Okay, super. Push this back in. Okay, all right, so now all we have to do, isn't that cute? What do you guys think? How about some love? How about some thumbs up? All right, now we just need to chalk these little dots and I'm gonna layer it like this. Layer one row just for lining it up. to know that I've lined it up straight. All right. Debbie says, love it. Shannon says, it'll be my IT guy. I watched one. I got to find the tag again to watch the rest. Okay. Well, let me know. Let me know, Nikki, if you need my help finding it. It's actually, they're actually, it's actually really easy to find. So if you go to her team page, um, Reminds me of frosting. If you go to her team page and um, there's a units section, especially it's easier too if you're on your computer, there's a unit section and all of her training is in the unit section. And it's, it's organized. She's the, one of the most organized persons I know. And she used to be a teacher, so she has the most amazing training. I've learned so much from her, but um, she has everything organized in the units, so easy to find. Debbie says, love it. Nikki says, so cute. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Doesn't that turn out cute? And it's going to be so cute with our Home of the Brave, right? Okay, so let's set this. I think it's okay to set it right now. See, we could paint the back later if we wanted to. I'm gonna set this one right there. And we're gonna do, hang on, I'm gonna get that all wipe off. No problem. Thank you, Bridget. All right, so let's do this one. Just paint this edge. Super quick. Anyone watching any good series like on Netflix or Hulu right now? I need a new one. I just I just finished one. It's a funny story, you guys. I just finished one called Cable Girls. And um, Shannon says so cute. Polka dots are popular right now. I know, aren't they? I thought this would be adorable. Um, so yeah, I finished, I just finished one called Cable Girls. And um, funny story, I was on Netflix just searching for something to watch, right? And it came up, Cable Girls. And it was about telephone operators in the 1930s. I was like, oh, this looks interesting. 
And I didn't really pay attention to where it was set, like location. And after like the second or third episode, I was like, this is really good. But I started to notice um, that the, the, their, the words were not exactly matching like their lips. Does that make sense? Like their lips were moving, but it looks like they were saying something different than, um, than it, like the words look different coming out of their mouth than what I saw. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? So I was like, this is really weird. So um, I watched a little bit more and then figured out that um, these were uh, cable operators in the 1930s, but in Madrid. And I was like, wow. So it was original, it's a Netflix original series, um, but it, um, let's do this one, the started one. But it was originally done in Spanish, and then it's like dubbed, dubbed in English, right? So that's why, so funny, that's why it wasn't matching, um, why the words weren't matching their lips. But it's really good. It's really good. There's like four or five seasons. Okay, so this is on blue, right? Okay. Should I chalk it in white or in candy apple red? What do you guys think? White or candy apple red? You tell me. I'll give it a second because I know there's a delay. So white or red on here? What do you guys think? White or red? Debbie says red. All right, we're going to go with red then. Bridget says white. All right, we'll go with the majority. Shannon says white. Bridget says white. Nikki, what do you think? I'm going to give Nikki a chance to vote. White or red, Nikki? And then let's see if I have to be the tiebreaker. Anyone else want to vote? I know we have more watching. You guys are shy. Don't be shy. Speak up. Vote white or red or forever hold your peace. Nikki says red. All right, I'm going to be the tiebreaker because I, I was leaning towards red as well. So we had two votes for red, two votes for white. I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go red. Do we have anyone else out there watching who would like to vote? Last chance. All right, let's go with red. I love this red. It's just this particular jar, I think. But um, this paste is always like the perfect consistency. This is what you want, guys. You want it to be the consistency of yogurt. Okay. So again, we just slap this down. Does not have to be perfect. So if you guys are watching or watching the replay, because I know a bunch of you, Nikki and Shannon are already on my team, but if you love this, you think this looks like fun, you can do this too. Especially if you want to make some extra income. Um, this is my mama's side hustle that I help her with, and it's awesome. You need a couple hundred dollars a month, whatever you want. Um, it could be more than that. It could be less. You choose. But this is a great opportunity for 
only $99, you can get your business in a box. And it includes everything you see here. So five jars of paste, eight transfers, three surfaces, a designer startup guide that helps get you started, a catalog, an apron, and 12 thank you notes, all for $99. And then you get all your product at an amazing discount of only 40% uh, 40 off. And like we were just talking about before, we have the most amazing training, all for free, that you have access to, in addition to me, to help you. But we have all kinds of um, expert professional training available to you at no charge to get your business going. I've been doing this for over a year, and um, I do it for fun to help my mom. Um, but I love it that she can make extra money, um, pay for a housekeeper and manicures and travel and all kinds of stuff, especially since she's retired. So it's nice. Nice to have this extra income. So if you guys want more information, just type hashtag info or message me. I have a Facebook opportunity group. It's free to join. And you can pop in there, just watch some videos, get some information. No obligation, no pressure. Just type hashtag info and um, I'll send you the link. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, Nikki says, do you have any projects that you have done a woven plaid in two colors or have you done a video on that? I don't think I have, Nikki. Um, are you talking about like one on top of each other? Isn't this cute? Wait, you guys can't see it. My camera's stopped. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fix this. There we go. Um, what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Did that not turn out adorable? It just looks like a flag, doesn't it? And look at these together. No, Nikki, I don't think I do. You do you mean like, um, do you mean like, um, tell me what you mean, like on top of each other or mixed together? Tell me what you're thinking. I don't think I do though. I have not used this woven plaid transfer a whole lot. But you should just experiment with it. Play with it and see what you get. Sharon says, looks good. Nikki says, cute. Yeah, you guys, give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up. Tell me what you think. Oh, and you guys, we also have a, um, let me put these together so you can see them. We also have a monthly subscription program called Club Couture. It's only $19.99 a month, $26.99 in Canada. And you get a eight and a half by 11 inch size transfer, three packets of paste shipped to your door every month, free shipping. And um, it, this transfer is exclusive to designers and to club members. That's the only way you can get it, okay? And if you join my club, I give you a free mini starter kit. I also give you a discount on all products, all regularly priced products. So join today or just type hashtag club. I'll get you the information, the link to join and check it out. Um, club or uh, Chalk Couture also gives you a discount on shipping. You get $4.95 flat rate shipping versus $6.95 if you're a club member. And they also do all kinds of discounts and promotions if you're a club member, like for example, this creative kickstart kit, that big one, when you focus on the good, the good gets better and lift where you stand, you get a $5 discount on these kickstart kits this month. But you guys, you got to get them before June 30th. They go away June 30th. Isn't that cute on the pillow? I love it. And I have a loyalty program in my VIP group. 
Every time you spend $10 with me, you get a punch on this card. When you fill up the card, you get free product. So hit hashtag VIP, get you in the group. As soon as you make a purchase, you get a card, okay? 10 punches, free product. How about that? All right, I think I'm missing some comments. Bridget says cute. Nikki says cute. Debbie says love it so much. Nikki says, isn't that the transfer where you can use the transfer one away? Oh, yes, to make it woven. Um, yes, I actually, I have, I have done that. Um, Nikki, I will, I did it on my son's um, board. Let me, let me see if it's handy and I'll show it to you. Hold on. I think I can grab it really quick. Alright, I take that back. It's in his room. But yes, that's why it's called woven plaid. I did it, but I did it all in the same color. But you could totally do it in two different colors. Absolutely. That would be super cute. Alright, so I will take I will stage a photo of our project. All of these together. I'm thinking about like like um Stand them up, you know what I mean? Like in a row, I gotta figure it out. But um, I just lost my battery up there, so let me switch. Let me switch here, okay? So we've got Home of the Brave with the Home of the Brave transfer that we did last night. And we've got our polka dots that we did tonight. And our flag that we did tonight. So we'll put all these together. What do you guys think? Do you love this? How about some hearts, some wows, some thumbs up? Super cute, right? So I'm gonna put these in my family room downstairs. I'll take a photo and I'll post it so you guys can see it. Do you love them? I think they turned out super cute. And then we've got our, our porch sign maple leaves. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you, I appreciate it. And we've got Ryan Hope Gills, University of Florida bottle opener. We got a lot done tonight, you guys, right? Thanks for all the hearts, I so appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks, Bridget. You guys are awesome, thanks for joining me tonight. All right, that is it, I'm gonna hit the sack. I want all of you to have a super good day tomorrow. It's Thursday. It's almost the weekend, right? We're going to cruise right in. Um, yeah, so be safe. Take care, you guys. Nikki, I'll be in touch about Saturday. We need to work out our plan, girl. And um, I, I appreciate you guys joining me. Shannon and Bridget and Debbie and Nikki. And all of you guys who watch the replay, thank you so much. If you love it, Please like this video, please subscribe, and go to my YouTube channel. Um, it's Chalk Monster Boutique. I would love to have you subscribe over there, all right? And, and even if you're watching the replay, you love this, share this to your friends and family. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate it. All right, you guys have a great night, and I will be right back here in the boutique, chalking with you tomorrow night. Mwah! You guys be safe. Love you all. Bye.